Hey fans, welcome to another moment with Hannah Wakama and this is Hata TV. Ah, this is another interesting series I don't want you to miss and this is all about the Nigerian man's lifestyle. This is also under the series Fact About Nigerian Men. Guess what? In this series, you'll be learning the Nigerian man's typical lifestyle. His lifestyle, I'm going to just give you, there are three stages basically of a typical Nigerian man's lifestyle. But make sure you watch this video to the end so that you can learn a lot more to understand about the Nigerian man's lifestyle. So if you are new here, I want to especially welcome you and I also want to encourage you to please hit the subscribe button below and turn on your notification bell to get notified on each time we do a post. In this series 9, you'll be learning a lot of things that would help you. Trust me, it's going to really help you understand the class your particular uh, baby partner or friend as a Nigerian or a man as a Nigerian, you know, which kind of class they fall in, okay? And um, it's just an eye opening for you all to understand a typical Nigerian man's lifestyle. Okay, he may he may do certain things, but if you want to understand him, these are the things that will make you know who he is, what he's aiming at, and what it could be. All right. So for those that are coming back, thank you for coming back. Make sure that you always watch our, the, our videos on Hata TV please please also ensure you share videos in this particular clip don't watch it alone make sure you also hit the share button to um, invite other people to watch this particular clip to understand these three classes of their lifestyle in terms of a nigerian man now the first lifestyle of a nigerian man is the rich a nigerian nigerian man that is rich wants to live large a Nigerian man that is rich wants to build houses. He doesn't just want to build a house. He wants to build houses or he wants to buy houses. He has lands in different states within Nigeria. He has a house abroad. He has houses abroad. That is his lifestyle. He will not just have all of this. He will have fleets of cars. He won't have just one car. He won't have just two cars. He may have one car for himself, one car for his wife, one car for his kids. Uh, one car for the house help when anytime the uh, house help wants to go buy something one car for the family house one car that way one car that way so far the money is available that is his lifestyle a typical nigerian man who is rich has a lot of friends whether he likes it or not his riches causing friends it's just like sugar when you put sugar inside a bowl and keep the bowl open for different maybe like a day or so even before a day you see different hands coming to eat the sugar they will come around pick their own sugar and they go they come around as one is going the other is coming as one is going the other is coming that's the way a rich man's life is within nigeria even if he's in diaspora you will see this trait in him this trait i just mentioned cannot be missed out cannot be ruled out in a rich man's life a rich nigerian man's life so this is his lifestyle he wouldn't wear cheap clothes he wouldn't wear dirty clothes he will wear neat expensive clothes if he wants to wear native he will wear very expensive native he will wear expensive native that when you see him you will know that he has money if he wants to wear english you will know he has money if he wants to wear a suit, you will see him wear a very nice Italian suit that will make you look like, yes, this man has money. If you see his shoes, no one will tell you that he's loaded. So that is his nature. He, he behaves in a way that his money speaks for him. He's not pride. He may be a humble person, but this is the only way to show to people that I have money. I am wealthy. I am rich. If you meet all those Eze, Eze, Indi, what those, uh, I don't even know what to call them. All those Igbo China boys or China men. You will see how they design themselves with gold, you know, wear bling bling and, you know, for you to know that, yes, I'm loaded and they wear designer's clothes. So that is a typical Nigerian man. He loves to look good. He loves to, 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 to just be him in that way. 
you know so if you understand this part you understand that that's his lifestyle i'm not saying because he's rich he should now use all his money to wear clothes uses all his money to buy clothes a rich man that is sensible and is a nigerian man is also an investor he has investment he has landed property like for we that are into land business we, we tend to sell land to nigerian men legit lands genuine lands to nigerian men who are interested to buy land who are interested to invest into land and we even advise on areas they can buy land whether in lagos abuja patakot owere worry and all of this we give them good spots where to invest their money and in few years by the time you know it they, they land yields and they make a lot of money from it so these are the criteria of a typical Nigerian rich man. So we're going to move straight to the next one, which is the middle class. The middle class lifestyle is not, it's just a little different from the rich because the rich have it in abundance. While the middle class, they have it, but it's not in surplus. So for, because it's not in surplus, they economize so many things. A man in his middle class, as a Nigerian man, as a sensible Nigerian man, may have like just one car or two cars, one for himself, one for his wife, and the other money he has, he wants to invest it so that he can yield more money from him. He can yield more money for him, yield more money for his family. So maybe he wants to invest it into agriculture, he wants to invest it into land business, he wants to invest it into one or two businesses that could help him. Now that's a typical middle class man. He's okay, in fact, he has some dependents under him, but he himself would not just go and buy flamboyant designers, buy um, expensive clothes, buy expensive houses. He won't do that. He may buy a house, he may buy like two houses, maybe one in Lagos, one in Abuja, one in Lagos, one in his village, or buy like four houses in different states, you know, but he will not buy 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 everything because he knows he doesn't have that much and he needs to reinvest a lot so that he can make more money from it so that's a middle class man for you he minimize what he has so that he can suit what he what he wants later okay that's the second powerful point about the nigerian man's lifestyle now a middle man may go out spend time with his friends he has friends but not very very much like the rich he may spend time with his friends. It's not all the time he wants to spend money hanging out with his friend. Sometimes he wants to just drop some money so that his friends too can contribute so that they pay off. You know, he doesn't want to go to some places because he doesn't want to spend so much that he did not plan for. So that's a typical Nigerian man lifestyle, right? And a typical Nigerian man's lifestyle. Even if he's planning to do a travel or something, he wants to plan it well. He will not just wake up and say, I want to travel. He must have saved the money as a middle class man to get it right. So, I've been able to give you two. Now, the last part I want to give you on a non-typical Nigerian man's lifestyle is, is the poor. The poor man who doesn't have anything, he doesn't have a house of his own, he's staying in a rented apartment, he's struggling with his wife and his kids. All he wants to do is to make, make end means and make sure he comes out of the poverty. So poverty itself is not, it's like a sickness. So when a man doesn't have, when a Nigerian man doesn't have, he feels frustrated. When a Nigerian man doesn't have, he feels as if he's, he's an handicap. Because already, like I said, he's wired to take care of his family. He's wired to show concern on people around him. He's wired to show care to the people he loves. But if he can't do this, he feels frustrated. If he can't do this, he feels as if there's something not right about him. So, when you see a poor man's lifestyle, he doesn't wear good clothes, he's striving so hard, he's putting in effort, he's always thinking, he's planning, He's trying so hard, but he may not even re remain in that situation. If it's a man that God has destined that, oh, you will come out of it, definitely. Yeah, for my own, I believe no man is actually poor, so far you can feed. But people, they say, they will say they are poor. But it's not about being poor. If you can feed, you are not poor. There are some people that don't have houses, they don't have clothing, they don't have shelter. But if you can feed, you can keep all of this. Then you're going somewhere. 
all you need to do is to put in more effort and you will get there so for a typical nigerian man's lifestyle these three things i just gave you are very crucial to know a lot more about nigerian man it will it will really help you as someone who is trying to understand a lot of facts about Nigerian men. Trust me. And um, I intentionally made this video for those who are interested in it. This is the uh, series 9. I'm going to be doing series 10 and I will drop the link below. Do not miss any of this episode. Make sure you watch all of the episode because it has its own different things to actually teach you. Okay? Um, thank you all for watching this video. If you know it has helped you, please do a thumbs up by liking this video and um, hit the share button to share with people you know it could help. Remember to drop your comments. Drop your comments with, uh, under this particular video because I want to hear from you. I want to get to hear what you think about Nigerian men's lifestyle. Is the lifestyle good enough for you? Is the lifestyle not good enough for you? Come on, drop your comment. Let's discuss about this below this video. Thank you all for staying tuned to Heart to Heart TV. Make sure that you watch a lot of more videos via playlists and follow us up on all of the social media platforms. I love you now and always. Bye-bye. <laughs>